Hi! While it certainly is a challenge to find kitchen appliances that are worthy of your hard-earned money, it isn't impossible, especially when you have a reliable source to point you in the direction of the brands you can trust. Let this channel be that source. In preparing this video countdown of the top models, the team researched literally dozens of tools, ranking each one based on its performance, its affordability, and the reliability of its manufacturer, and also read real-life consumers' opinions about each product. Let's see which are the best models in this year. Salton's crepe and tortilla maker gives you the tool to create kitchen masterpieces, from a gourmet breakfast to delicious desserts and exotic dinners. A crepe is the French version of a pancake. They're thin and you can use either a sweet or a savory batter. And they're really easy to make if you have the salt and crepe and tortilla maker. Let me show you. What you do is you take the base and you dip it in the batter for three seconds. One, two, three. And then you put it back on the base and let it cook for a couple of minutes. Once the steam disappears or in about a minute or two, you're ready to stack. If you have ever tried to make crepes in a traditional pan, you know how difficult it can be. With the Salton, they're perfect every time. Just dip, cook, and stack. Then the fun part is decorating them. You can serve crepes in so many different ways, so have fun with it. You can fold them, you can roll them, and you can stuff them. My favorite is a cream cheese filling with fresh berries, and oh my goodness, so delicious. The crepe maker is also great for tortillas. Use the recipe in the recipe book that comes with it for corn tortilla batter and then dip, cook, and stack. Perfect for enchiladas or even tacos. Any unused crepes will keep in the refrigerator for a few days or in the freezer for up to a month. It's easy to use, easy to clean, and easy to store. So try the salt and crepe and tortilla maker today. Hi, I'm Mary Rogers, and this is Cuisinart's new International Chef Crepe Pizzelle and Pancake Plus. But it does so much more than just that. There's great international recipes from all over the world for lots of other items, so be sure to check your IB or instruction booklet for those. But let me show you the product. It's got a stainless steel top housing, has a locking button right here, which um, locks the plates closed when you're using it. When you press that button and you lift, you can also open it all the way, so you have double the cooking surface. You'll notice on this side, this plate has a pizzelle form. Um, I just wanted to show you the opposite side that's also the same on this plate. The pizzelle press is on the other side. Um, the plates are completely removable. This I happened to use a few minutes ago to um, make a crepe, so I'm just using pot holders because it's still warm. You just Remove the plate. So we have two flat surfaces now, so you can use it for crepes or, or pancakes or even potato latkes. There's and so many different ways that you can use this. The other thing that's great too is that the plates go directly into the dishwasher for cleaning. So it's really simple and easy to clean up. So let's take a look at the front of the unit. I'm gonna pull it a little closer to me. Here you have two knobs. The one on the left is your temperature knob. And you just turn that um, goes from low, medium to high. It also has multiple presets for crepe, pizzelle, and also tortillas. The one on this side is your timer, and it also has presets for tortilla, crepe, and pizzelle. And you just choose any one of those temperatures, or if there's something that you know that you want to cook for a specific amount of time, like your own type of recipe, just use that timer. It goes up to three minutes. It's a beautiful unit, has a nice wide arched handle in the front. Um, like I said, it has a lock, which helps in keeping the plates closed tightly when you're cooking. The other thing that's really great, too, is that this cooking surface and the plate is about eight and a third inches in diameter. So it's a nice, generous size. So why don't we do this? Why don't we go ahead and I'll show you how simple and easy it is going to be to make a beautiful crepe. 
Okay, so before we start making our crepe, we're going to set the unit by turning the dial to crepe pizzelle on this side and also on crepe on this side. And what's going to happen, you notice there's two lights here. One is red, that's your power on light, and the other light is going to be green when your unit comes up to temperature. So what we're going to do is I'm going to talk about a couple of other things and then we're going to wait for the unit to come up to the proper temperature. So with your um, unit, you get this little wooden um, piece, which is meant to make little sugar cones. So you can make um, lots of great little beautiful sugar cones for maybe a party or a great dessert. This is your uh, measuring scoop. There's two different sizes, large and small. And follow the recipe for what, um, what size you're going to use for what. Today for crepes, we're going to use the large scoop. And then you also get this cute little spatula which is gonna help you remove um, your pancakes and your crepes and any type of tortillas or pitas that you're going to cook in your international chef unit. Okay, so you'll notice right in the front here, the light is green, that lets us know it's up to the proper temperature and we're ready to make our crepe. So as I mentioned, I followed the um, crepe batter recipe in the instruction booklet. And all you do is um, fill this up to the, you know, almost to the top. And what we're going to do is pour the batter into the plate. And then what I'm going to do is close it and it automatically locks. And now all we have to do is wait until it's finished cooking and it'll let us know when it's done. So our light went on again, letting us know that the crepe is completely finished. And um, I'm just going to open it up and you'll notice that it is nice and pale color. It's not supposed to be um, overly brown. So now I'm just going to fold this using the little spatula that's included. Now, a great thing to do right now is if you want, you can put this on a, the plate. I'm going to fold it up all the way, but you can put this on a plate and put a little Nutella inside, or you can even, um, I'm going to fold it one more time, maybe not. Uh, or you can even like dust it with some cinnamon sugar. Today, what I'm going to do is do a little healthier version. I'm going to put you can either stuff these or actually put the ingredients on top. I'm just going to put it on the top and dollop it with a tiny, tiny little bit of whipped cream. There are so many creative recipes you can try with your brand new International Chef Crepe Pizzelle and Pancake Plus 